Hi, as part of this 10 minute overview, uh, we will cover the OCI process automation service. Uh, this service enables customers to end-to-end uh, -end automate their business processes that could span multiple applications uh, that could involve uh, human tasks that they're looking to digitize, as well as look at um, uh, various workflows uh, in, their, uh, in, the, in the company that they're looking to digitally transform. So as part of the product overview today, uh, we, apart from the functional capabilities, we will walk through two primary uh, user experiences uh, targeting uh, two key personas uh, in our product. The first one is a tooling UI, which we call the designer, um, which enables uh, an, and provides a no-code approach for our users to be able to create uh, business process applications um, as part of our product. They would be able to use various components such as our processes, dynamic processes, web forms, connectors, to be able to put together um, a business uh, uh, process as that is required in the company. The second user experience that we will be walking through is for the end user. Uh, we target two key types of personas here. Uh, one is an administrative and operational persona of where users are looking to manage the system as well as manage the various transactions that are going through the system. The second user here is the business user um, where based on notifications that are generated from our product, users can come in and uh, look at various tasks that have been assigned to them look at the various details such as the forms that are attached to a task and then take key actions such as reviewing details, approving things and such. With that said, let's go into the product demonstration. So this is our product designer. Um, as you can see, it provides, there are a number of applications that are already available uh, in here. And as part of the demonstration today, we will look at the rental car application, uh, which uh, covers a number of key components of the product. At the design uh, level, you can see that uh, you have the ability for um, the lifecycle management of the various process applications that are created. You have the ability to create new, uh, you have the ability to import uh, from uh, various lower environments, as well as manage life cycles and versions of the product within here. So let's go into the rental car application. Um, as part of the core, um, uh, the core process application, there are a number of key components that we provide um, as part of the product. Uh, the first one is uh, the process. Uh, the process, we uh, from a process perspective, we offer uh, the ability for users to create structured processes as well as dynamic processes. Um, and this could be uh, based on the design experience as well as the use case that the customer has. Um, uh, the customer would be able to uh, select uh, the process type that they would want. As part of this demo, we will walk through uh, each of the process types. We offer a web user or web form um, uh, composition tool that enables customers to create forms and attach them to various tasks. This enables users to uh, initiate tasks through a completion of a form, or uh, they can have uh, or see the details as part of a task that's been created uh, in forms so that users can see the details um, and uh, take decisions such as, uh, do I wanna request more information? Do I wanna go ahead and approve it? We offer business rules uh, in the context of decisions. Um, the users have the ability to automate and reuse a lot of the uh, decisions, uh, such as decision tables and rules that they have in their company as part of the, um, the decisions component. For connectivity, we offer REST-based integrations as well as uh, interface through Oracle integration, where you would be able to um, integrate with various SaaS applications, various technical endpoints, uh, in this case, we have REST-based integrations for a couple of endpoints, and we will see that as part of the demonstration. We also offer the ability for users to create business types, um, and everything in process is managed and governed through uh, a, a role-based access control system. Um, so users have the ability to create various roles and be able to assign uh, users into various roles, and based on that, you would be able to um, assign tasks to a set of users, a set of groups, a set of teams, et cetera. With that said, let's look at the functional use case that we would be looking at as part of this demonstration. So this is a, a overall rental car process that we have created, uh, and it has uh, three very basic uh, stages. The first stage is um, the booking stage, where once the customer or the end user has initiated the booking request, you would be able to go in and verify the booking and approve the reservation that the customer has requested. The pickup stage is where the customer desk employees or the users who are, are helping the customer 
pick up the car at the rental car office. Um, and there are various uh, uh, milestones that are here where uh, the, uh, it's, the car is ready for the customer, um, the car is ready for, um, you know, uh, for the pickup process being completed, um, the car being transferred to a different uh, rental car location if the drop-off point is different. All of these are captured within the process. And then finally, um, we have the return stage uh, where the, the user would be able to handle the return of the car when the, user, when the customer uh, is at the drop-off um, location. And last but not least, we have global activities. Um, and these global activities are um, tasks that are available uh, for the end user at any given point of time. So for example, during the life cycle of a, a, a rental agreement, if I wanna be able to report an incident or be able to update my booking to extend my reservation, all of these are activities that are available to the user. So you would be able to manage that. Uh, as far as our, the process is concerned, we offer a number of key uh, capabilities within the product. You would be able to design and manage human tasks. Um, in this case, we have a verified booking process, which is a human task. Uh, this, can, this can be assigned to a, a user or a group of users or a team. Uh, you can attach a UI to it in the context of a, a web form or external UIs if needed. Uh, you have the ability to bind process data to it. Uh, be able to select uh, uh, priorities, define due dates, uh, all of those details could be defined in the context of a task. Um, a task has other capabilities such as conditional activation terminations. You would also be able to set up notifications uh, in the context of a task. All these are constructs that are available, which enables customers to minimize manual tasks in their company and be able to automate them. As part of our product, we also offer the ability for you to integrate with various systems. In this case, we are off, we are we have a couple of REST endpoints that are um, getting uh, connecting to machine learning systems to get car uh, pretty car mileage usage, uh, pretty car acceptance uh, confidence levels. Uh, these are as well as get uh, zip codes, etc. So we have REST endpoints uh, that are being used for this. Uh, as far as the product is concerned, we offer structured processes as well uh, in the product that enables users to define more transitional, uh, more transition driven uh, approaches for or traditional or transition driven approaches for defining processes. This is a, a structured process that enables the, um, the transfer of a car from one rental car office to the other. You can see here that we provide a number of different capabilities, uh, including the, the task which uh, the user would be able to review and uh, approve uh, for managing the return of a car, uh, for the tra uh, transfer of a car, as well as various elements. In the product, we offer a number of different uh, uh, elements as part of the product um, that are managed here. Uh, you would be able to create human tasks, you'd be able to create system tasks, you'd be able to create events that are uh, API driven or event driven, you would be able to create form based uh, initiations. Uh, you'd be able to create gateways to manage your decisions and how you want to be able to uh, execute on various transition points, uh, as well as drag and drop in connectors that are part of the product. Um, lastly, what um, we let's quickly look at um, the forms element as well before we go into the uh, end user UI. So the rental car form is the primary user experience that we will look at. As you can see, the web forms enables you to create uh, various end user experiences as, as well as presentations. We provide a rich variety of capabilities uh, in the product to, uh, for users and designers to be able to create um, various conditional uh, and event driven approaches to creating these UIs. All of the UIs and end user facing components that we create here are um, embeddable in nature uh, that enables customers to be able to um, uh, embed these experiences, tasks, as well as uh, end user experiences in general to uh, other web applications as well as SaaS applications. With that, let's move to the end user facing uh, part of it. So here, this is the rental car application that we just saw. So I am I am going to be acting as the customer who's going to be initiating the rental car booking process here. So I'm going to go ahead and say, um, Scott Tiger is my name. Let's say that I'm with the date picker. I'm saying that the pickup date would be next week and the drop off date would be end of the week. I'm picking up the car near um, my home in California. 
And you can see that we are using a connector-based call to be able to get the location information from REST uh, based endpoints, and we automatically populate that in the forms. Uh, as a user, I also can be very specific if I want. So I'm gonna say that I, I would like a master as part of the uh, booking. I am anticipating my luggage size is gonna be large. Idly one, two doors, and I'm anticipating two people uh, in the car at any given point. So with this, um, we have now submitted the uh, the web form as a customer, and my reservation is being is ready for review and uh, pending in the booking stage. This is the operational experience as far as the uh, administrator is concerned. So now that I have initiated my process to book a car, you can now see that my booking uh, is booking stage is in progress. I can see the uh, other stages are not started as they are event driven um, to. And they will only kick off once my initial stage is completed. I have other um, activities such as the ability to update my booking, report incidents that are enabled and available. And the, the, the primary task within the booking stage, which is verify booking, is now available and active. So let's play the role of the, the reservation uh, 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 office and let's review the request that Scott has created for me. As part of the review, I can see all the details that have been created by the customer. You can see uh, as an end user, I can review all the information that I've been provided in the form. I can see and add any comments. Um, I can say approved. I can add documents such as a map. I can uh, look at uh, the rest of the history as far as the um, details are concerned, and I can go ahead and submit this. That enables um, the process to uh, progress to the next stage. So now my verify booking stage is complete, uh, and the, the process is well on its way to the next stage. So as you can see now, my booking stage is complete, and my pickup process uh, is, a pickup stage is in progress at this point. Um, the customer, um, is now ready to, uh, will get a notification to let them know that the reservation has been confirmed and they're uh, pick up, ready to pick up their car uh, on their pickup date. And as you can see from an operational perspective, I can see all the details of various tasks that have been completed, that have been running, all the failed transactions that are, uh, that are available. I can, if I need to take actions like retries, I would be able to manage that from here. I can see the entire audit, uh, comments, documents, as well as data uh, from an operational and administrative perspective. Um, this is a quick overview of the process automation tool. We, to summarize, we looked at a rental car process that was defined or designed in the process tooling um, that had multiple stages. We went through the various aspects of the product of how it was designed, as well as uh, a couple of stages of the runtime or the end user experience to uh, simulate how a user would interact with the process. Thank you very much.